everyone, this is Phil Paul, a recent graduate of St. John's University in New York City. And right now I'm currently sitting inside of John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York and I'm waiting for my 6.13 a.m. flight to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I will be joining the NASCAR Diversity Internship Program Intern Orientation Weekend uh, for the class of 2023, as I am a returning intern, as I was a part of MDIP last summer, and will be returning again this summer, working in the role of the weekly racing operations intern for the NASCAR headquarters based in Daytona Beach, Florida. And I'm really excited to be back again in the program and also really excited to meet the uh, class of 2023 cohort as there are a lot of great interns coming from great universities coming into uh, the program this summer and being able to have the chance to you know, uh, take in the orientation weekend that has been planned for NASCAR for us interns as we will have the opportunity to be going to the NASCAR headquarters and meeting meet with the top employees and top execs who work in NASCAR. We'll be taking in races at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for this weekend as NASCAR is hosting their annual Memorial Day weekend uh, races at Charlotte Motor Speedway and also being able to tour a race shop for one of the NASCAR Cup Series teams and also uh, the other entities that are involved in the sport of NASCAR as I really highly recommend that whoever who is trying to work in the sports industry or trying to gain experience working in motorsports that the NASCAR Diversity Internship Program is the program for you and I'm really excited to be back again this summer and looking forward to what the you know, orientation weekend and the summer has to hold for me as along with the other interns and just really excited to be back again and looking forward to this weekend that's planned as I head on to Charlotte to meet with the 2023 class of the NASCAR Diversity Internship Program. All right, everybody, so I made it to Charlotte and right now I'm inside my hotel room here at the hotel that all the interns will be staying at for the weekend in Uptown Charlotte. And I also changed shirts, as you probably can tell, I had the NASCAR polo on. So yeah, all the interns are distributed uh, polos for the weekend. We get a gray one like this. We also get a red one and a blue one that will be considered a uniform for the weekend. And as far as the pants, you have the option of either wearing khakis or black pants like how I'm wearing right now, so you can tell. And um, yeah, and also just comfortable walking shoes because, you know, mind you, when you're in, in DIP and at orientation, we're going to be doing a lot of walking either from the hotel to the headquarters or when we're at the racetrack, we'll be doing a lot of walking around. So I highly recommend that you come in comfortable shoes and also wear um, the right attire uh, when, when you come to show up for orientation weekend. So we're just uh, out waiting, uh, waiting for the other interns to come and also, you know, just uh, get, getting ready to figure out what the next move is for our day. But I'm sure we'll be uh, giving a presentation as far as the introduction of being welcomed into NDIP. And yeah, just uh, seeing what the next couple of hours has in store for us. But um, yeah, just going to keep on going. And I'm actually going to go grab some breakfast right now. And uh, yeah, just wait to see what the next move is for us. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Like, like, wait, wait, man. Oh, we have the camera. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Just wave. <laughs> there we go. 
All right, bye. So right now we are inside the NASCAR headquarters here in uptown Charlotte. And you can tell around the room, like all the interns, is Darren right here. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're just right now eating lunch and getting prepared for the panel. Nick Nicholas Caldwell over here, another intern. Um, yeah, this is just the introduction part. You know, they give us a nice good plate of food here. And this is the spread for this year. And um, yeah, we're just in down enjoying it. We're, uh, you know, I guess trying to get that energy before the day starts and before we, you know, head to the track and head around the headquarters. But, um, but yeah, this is really like the first go or the first step in regards to welcoming all the interns to NASCAR and you know, just getting us excited about, you know, what to expect for the weekend, what to expect over the summer. So, uh, yeah, we're just here enjoying our food and waiting for the next step. All right, so about to walk inside of Charlotte Moore Speedway. About to go check out the truck race tonight. And, uh, yeah, I mean, all the answers are here. Right, how many first timers we got, huh? How many first timers? Huh? All right. That's a lot of first time NASCAR attendees. First time ever seeing a race, so definitely gonna be an experience for them. Wide web. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go inside, check it out. We're gonna enjoy it, and uh, yeah, we'll bring it in there. So it's Friday night, about to get ready for the truck race. You see the trucks lined up behind us on the grid. And uh, yeah, it's an exciting now. We actually had a chance to meet with Rancho Karouf, one of the drivers that was uh, mentioned in our orientation preview. And he's gonna be starting on the fourth tonight in the truck race. And uh, hopefully he puts up a good run for us interns. He you know, show, shows up, shows out for us. And uh, you know, so if he can put up a good run and go out, and get, go out there and get a win. the uh, truck race, mid rows got the win, and uh, right now we're just walking back to the bus to go back to the hotel after the first day of orientation weekend. It's my first race, it's a good first day. Yes, it was, yes. First day of orientation was a success. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store. And, uh, yeah, the rest of the weekend as well. So, yeah, we're gonna see how the rest of tomorrow goes. What's going on everybody? It's uh, day two of the NASCAR Diversity Leadership Program orientation weekend here in Charlotte. So we're back in the hotel and uh, today we have the, uh, the red polos on and, uh, and right now we're just all having breakfast. We're all just you know, chat, chatting it up. And, um, yeah, uh, so I think today we are going to go toward Motor Racing Network Studios, which is the or one of the radio stations that covers the NASCAR races during the season, primarily at the tracks that NASCAR personally owns. And we're also going to go tour Hendrick Motorsports uh, Race Shop, which uh, who is one of the top uh, NASCAR Cup Series teams in the series. 
No, yes, yeah, I'm out of uniform right now, but I'm a part <laughs> of the program too. I'm just wearing my other uniform. Yep, Sydney Brown right here. Sydney Brown, what's but, good, y'all? So, so, tell tell them what um what, what role you're having this summer in the program. Um, so I'll be the marketing intern for Team Penske, which is in, in Mooresville. It's about 20 minutes here from Charlotte, and uh, you know as I graduated from Daytona Beach. Florida at Bethune Cookman University, which is right up the street from the NASCAR track. So, you know, it's good that my boy Phil is going to be there. You know, I'm sure that Tony will take care of him in more ways than one. I yeah, hope so. I hope so. You know, plenty of, uh, plenty of nightlife down there. You know, so you <laughs> definitely got to go to game time, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, as they mentioned earlier. And, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you know, it's... Peace. Y'all see me again. Y'all see me again. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a lot going on today, but... um. But yeah, and after we go to Hendrick Motorsports, we're gonna go go kart go karting at um Victory Racing League. So um yeah, very exciting day, and I look forward to a lot, and uh, yeah, see you know what the day has in store for us. So, uh, the TV show is shot in here, the, the Wing Nation uh, live show for Tuesdays is shot in here, uh, but in addition to that, we also... Alright everybody, so, uh, oh, right now unfortunately it's raining in Charlotte, but we are about to head over to the Hendrick Moore Sports uh, race shop and um, you know Hendrick Moore Sports they're like the, one of the top uh, teams in the NASCAR Cup Series uh, their drivers are Chase Elliott William Byron Kyle Larson Alex Bowman uh, they've been championship uh, contenders every season like and you know they've had a lot of uh, historic winners and NASCAR Hall of Famers come through there at camp like you know Jimmy Johnson Jeff Gordon uh, Bobby Levant next to uh, excuse me Terry Levante uh, you know, a lot of big names have raced for Rick Hendrick over the years. And, um, yeah, we're just about to walk over to their facility, check it out, and uh, we're see what it looks like. Well, I think I might have the best place to work, right? <laughs>
All right, everybody. So right now we're at Victory Lane Karting, and yeah, like we're about to go do some go karting. So yeah, we're having some fun today. And uh, you know, I got everybody behind me. I wearing their college T-shirts. You know, I you know, it's like we're we're all wearing the T-shirts of our colleges. You know, I have mine on, representing St. John's. Say as you can tell. St. John's. <laughs> but um, but yeah, we're just waiting in line right now for. Uh, you know, our turn to go go karting is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, you know, like it's not every day you like to get behind the wheel and you're going super fast. So we're definitely going to be. I'm going to whoop yeah. I'm just letting y'all know. I want you to get in front of me on purpose, so I, so I can pass you and leave you behind. Whatever. Hey, oh, no, you better eat my dust. How about that? <laughs> yeah. I like the competition. I love the competition, but you know. We're like, I guess we're, we're, I guess we're like real Phil, drivers. Phil, tell everyone the best the best college in the nation, Temple University. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, St. St. John's. St. John's is the best college in the nation. Forget about Y'all ain't even the best college in Pennsylvania. Not even in the best college in the Not even the best college in that city. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go do some go karting, and you know we're all excited about it. But yeah, we're gonna, you know, see who's the best behind the wheel and who's the best on the track. So we're gonna let our driver do the talking. <laughs> Wrapped up go karting. The boy got two dubs in both races, so yeah, you know, you know the fat who, who's the fastest school is St. John's. You know, it's the fastest school out here. Oh, yeah, so I did get first place in one race, so you can't even say like I had the fastest time. You did not. This guy right here, oh, yeah, yeah, this guy here had the fastest time. It is what it is. Who you celebrating, man? Who you celebrating? He's taking a video. I did, yeah. But, um, but yeah, it was fun go karting. Uh, we had a blast doing it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to see what, what tomorrow looks like. We're kind of curious on how the weather looks, but uh, so far it's been pretty good. I believe it'll all be okay. Yeah, well, it's gonna be okay for sure. We're gonna we're gonna get a day in tomorrow. I don't know how, but we're gonna we're gonna get in. But yeah, this is uh, this has been go karting for uh, EFP. So yeah, it's probably like this is the end of day two for us, and we're gonna move on to day three uh, coming up right right now. All right, everybody, it's day three. It's the last day of our orientation weekend, and right now we're just all in the lobby. We're actually. They got the uh, Monaco Grand Prix and the phone over there. Oh, oh, see next week's Athens in the league, so I'll second that out. And, um, yeah, so, uh, well, technically today is the Coca-Cola 600, but we're not even sure if it's going to happen because it's raining. And I guess NASCAR can't race in the rain, so hopefully we uh, at least make a day out of it. I know this morning we're supposed to be going to the NASCAR Hall of Fame and um, that should be pretty cool, especially with it being the 75th anniversary. They always change the exhibits around every year. So, um, yeah, we'll um, get a chance to go do that, and hopefully we can make a day out of it at the track. We're still going to go to the racetrack, but we're still unsure if there's going to be a race at all today. But, um, but yeah, we're going to figure it out on the fly. But, yeah, this is the last day, and uh, everybody is excited. You know, we're all just, uh, you know, basking in it. And, yeah, we're going to see how it goes.
All right, bye. So it's actually the last clip of <laughs> the vlog. So unfortunately, we weren't able to see the Coca-Cola 600 because it was postponed due to the rain. It's been raining like yesterday and today in Charlotte. So you know, unfortunately, we weren't, we weren't able to stay for the race because it was postponed. The rain it was pushed to tomorrow. Uh, some of us won't be able to see it because we're flying either flying to Daytona or flying to uh, other areas where we've been designated in. But overall, it was a great weekend, you know, a lot of being around a lot of exciting people. You know, we're all excited to be interning for NASCAR this summer and definitely going to take advantage of the experience all the rest of the way. But uh, yeah, this has been the vlog for the NASCAR Diversity Internship Program Orientation Weekend. So hopefully this inspires everybody to go on and apply for next year's class. If you're interested in doing it, I highly recommend it. But, um, but yeah, like... I just wanted to take a chance to showcase what NDIP Orientation Weekend was about and also, you know, get people excited about the summer pro summer summer program. And um, yeah, this has been, you know, this has been this was the introduction is for all the interns. But uh, overall, I just want to say thank you all for tuning into the vlog. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, and I'll also leave the link to more information about the program in the description. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.